Star Wars is absolutely jam-packed with all sorts of details that you only really notice after watching the movies hundreds of times. One of the things is the presence of the English language in various scenes, which I did a video on a while back, but strangely, I missed the absolute most prominent and most bizarre example of this phenomenon. Now, I'm definitely not the first person to notice this, but this is just so fascinating, and I really wanted to draw attention to it. In Return of the Jedi, we see that Grey Leader has this big red decal on his chin, surrounded by legible text. We can read the word Bolinus. We can easily find other angles of this decal where we can clearly read free Bolinus. And this is plenty of information to identify that this decal is a sticker for the radio station Radio Free Bolinus, which operated out of Bolinus, California, a secluded seaside town in Marin County, California, which is incidentally right in the ballpark of where Lucasfilm is headquartered. Radio Free Bolinus was founded in 1978 when the board of the Bolinus Community Public Utility District unanimously voted to grant permission for local resident Michael Rafferty to go ahead with creating a radio station. This involved mounting a 20-foot antenna on the roof of the district office building and using one of its rooms to house radio equipment. This fledgling radio station was known as WRFB, Radio Free Bolinus, and it had an intended one-mile range, over which Radio Free Bolinus would broadcast music and let local residents host various shows in the evening. The district board would also host their board meetings on the radio station for anybody in the community to tune in and hear. Now, now the moniker Radio Free is what some would call a euphemism for a pirate radio station, one that operates without a federal license. So one evening when RFB radio hosts got a call in from a listener in San Francisco, over 10 miles outside their intended broadcast range, they kind of immediately knew that they were in trouble. It was just a matter of time before the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, would find out about their little operation. One morning, the Radio Free Bolinas hosts arrived at the district offices to find that the FCC had arrived, confiscated their radio equipment, and padlocked their studio, officially shutting down the station. But the legacy of Radio Free Bolinas would live on in Star Wars, of all things. Apparently, someone in the Lucasfilm prop shop was a listener of this radio station. Now, I haven't been able to track down who that might have been, but it's easy to imagine a room full of artists in Lucasfilm's Bay Area prop shop tuning in to a local radio station on those long nights making hundreds of props for Return of the Jedi. Consequently, the logo of this radio station would make its way onto two separate Grey Squadron helmets, and would be clearly legible on one. And what's crazy here is that this kind of creates some interesting questions for Star Wars canon. Now, English language text already has some recognition in Star Wars canon as the High Galactic Alphabet, but it's the content here that's interesting. Is Radio Free Bolinas a radio station in Star Wars as well? Is Bolinas a planet? It wouldn't be the first time that a real-world place appeared as a planet in Star Wars. Endor, for instance, was a Canaanite city in what is today northern Israel. Maybe something similar could happen with Bolinas, California. Granted, we technically only see EO free Bolinas on the actual helmet, so the canonical first part of the word radio is kind of up for debate, I guess. I don't know, but this text, at least the word Bolinas, is clearly legible on screen. It's right there, plain as day, and I think it's absolutely fascinating and kind of reality breaking. There's just so much interesting storytelling potential here. Now, I wanted to make sure that this logo was preserved in as much detail as possible, so I commissioned Ender Smith to make a faithful recreation of the logo. You'll remember that Ender Smith was the amazing graphic designer who was instrumental in cracking the language of the TIE Fighter targeting computers. He has an incredible eye and has created a beautiful recreation of the Radio Free Bolinas logo, which you can get on products in the EC Henry Redbubble store, along with a lot of other really cool designs based on obscure graphical elements from Star Wars. There's also some new stuff inspired by my B-Wing Mark II there. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check that out. There's a link in the description for it. To the rest of you, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.